Hi, in this project, I'm going to be showing you how to make a power junction box for your kayak. The junction box will be 12 volt and have a socket plug-in for your trolling motor as well as a kill switch. The reason for the junction box is that not all kayaks have access to the interior of the hull to run wiring or to mount devices. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the power junction box I'm going to be using in this project. Now I decided to use a junction box because the New Canoe Frontier 12 does not have easy access to the interior of the kayak for the wiring or the electronics. So this box consists of a 4 inch by 4 inch square outdoor electrical conduit box that you can pick up at any of the box stores. Then I also used a male and female 12 volt power plug to connect to the head of the controller and inside the box here I drilled out a hole for this three-quarter inch slip and threaded and PVC pipe connector. And the threaded end is going to screw into the body of the kayak itself. And the hole is there in order to route all the wiring through for this project. And I even cut out a little notch here to make it easier to run the wiring through there. And this here is the kill switch which was actually recommended to me by a friend on Facebook. It will easily work with this 12 volt system because it's rated up to 200 amps. And you see you have your two connection posts here. One is your direct input from your battery power and then the other goes to the power here in the box for the plug. Now when I was measuring to put this kill switch in, I had to be careful because these two posts had to clear this socket for the power plug. So what I did was I measured it so these two posts would ride on either side of the most narrow part of that socket. So when you put everything together, that's it. You have your junction box. You power in, your kill switch, and then all your wiring is going right, to run right down through the bottom into the kayak. This is a close-up of the back or the bottom of the box. You can see the three-quarter inch threaded section of the PVC fitting coming through the bottom. Now when you cut the hole for that, you want to make sure it's a little oversized to allow the fitting to rotate freely because the threaded area is going to be used to screw into your kayak when you drill the hole but you don't want to make the hole in the bottom of the box too big that the fitting falls through. And this actually acts as a very nice anchor point for this box. This is an internal view of the junction box wiring. Coming from the positive 12 volts of the battery through the kayak is this connection to one side or post of the kill switch. The other post of the kill switch is connected to the positive lead of the 12 volt trolling motor socket. The negative lead of the socket is then run through the kayak and attached to the negative terminal of the battery. So the wiring's pretty simple. This is the completed and installed junction box for the kayak. You see the 12 volt socket on the front face and coming through the lid is the kill switch with the red key on top. There will be a lanyard attached to that so when you pull very slightly on that key it will disconnect the power to the trolling motor. So that's it. If you have any questions please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.